All right, guys, I wanted to make a little video today on salmonella and reptiles or turtles. Got my uh, turtle here, guy. He's just hiding. He is a uh, Reeves turtle, Asian Reeves, and he's just hiding in there. And then I have my two bear dragons out here. Now, I get questions all the time asking if I get a reptile or a turtle or, or whatever, a snake, any type of reptile, really, you know, what's the worry of salmonella? And honestly, I've had reptiles, turtles, snakes, all types, and I've almost never had a problem. I have one story to tell you guys. But I basically almost never had a problem, especially after the very first time I did. What you want to be sure of is, for one, it's always good to wash your hands before handling animals, just so you don't get anything on them. But after you handle your animal, just make sure to wash your hands. It's as simple as that. Um, you don't want to touch your eyes. Make sure when you're handling, handling your animals not to touch your eyes, your, your, your mouth, your your ears, your nose, anything that has an opening that you know you can get salmonella into. Now bearded dragons I've never had a problem with. My problem one time was with, with turtles and actually it was like the first week that I got my turtles. It was uh, my uh, Reeves turtle here. I also got a Texas map, a uh, southern painted I believe and <clears throat> I was handling them a little bit the uh, first couple days I got them. I went out to a restaurant, I came home and I got pretty sick. I was uh, basically I was throwing up until probably from seven o'clock at night till seven o'clock in the morning. I just couldn't couldn't stop throwing up. And I thought I got like food poisoning or something. So I called the restaurant and I just asked, has anyone else called in and said they got sick? Here's what I ate. Has anyone else got sick? And called in. You know, I said I'm not trying to you know put press charges on you guys or anything because I don't even know what happened. But I'm just saying, did anyone else get sick? Has anyone else called in? They said no. So my next thought was, well, I must have got salmonella from my turtles. And I wasn't being as careful back then when I first got my turtles. I wasn't, I guess, you know, thinking about it as much. And I must have touched my mouth, touched my nose, or something before I washed my hands. Now since then, that was five years ago, I haven't had a single problem. So can you get salmonella from reptiles and turtles? Yes. Is it a huge problem if you're careful? No. I've had lots and lots of animals for the past five years since that's happened and nothing's happened ever again. Uh, basically whenever I handle my animals I just make sure not to touch my face. Salmonella is not going to go through your skin, it's not going to you know just get into you. So if you know have your have no sleeves that's always good and then when you're done playing with your animal simply go and wash your hands good. I'll do that after the video this time as well. My turtle I thought he might come out here as you can see, I'm not scared to hold him. He's fine. I, I hold my turtles from time to time. And um, basically, like I said, some will have it, some won't. I don't know if I said they have it. You know, some will, some won't. You can't really say, oh, this turtle has salmonella and this one doesn't, or this dragon does and this one doesn't. I don't think my dragons do, but you never know. Any, oh, don't fall off, man. Any reptile could. So just, just wanted to talk about that because I get lots and lots of questions about, you know, salmonella and so on. And basically any reptile could have it but all you have to do is don't touch your face that's basically the problem area you touch your face you touch your mouth touch your nose even your eyes it can get into your body your hands your, your hands are pretty safe as long as you don't have any cuts or anything on your hands your hands are safe to handle them and just basically once you put them back wash your hands so I just wanted to go over that today just wanted to talk about that because I get lots and lots of questions about reptiles and turtles and salmonella and you know are they safe to own and honestly like I said I had that one problem which I think was salmonella who knows it might have been food poisoning I really don't know for sure but um, I haven't had a single problem in five, five years after that and I handle my animals all the time not a single problem just like I said don't touch your face and wash your hands afterwards so if you guys have any questions let me know I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys back in their uh, enclosures See y'all later, and happy pet keeping.